if you want to know how you can make a scrolling backpack in Roblox Studio just like Minecraft, you're going to have to watch this video also to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can make a scrolling backpack menu. What I mean with that, for example, in Minecraft, if you have, uh, like, for example, nine slots, and you have your sword on number one, and your pickaxe on number eight, for example, you can scroll to the eighth one. And what I mean with that is, uh, in Roblox, you can just press numbers on your keyboard, and then the tool appears in your backpack. But the thing is, scrolling does not exist in Roblox for backpack things. So that's where newbie, me, comes in, and I will be helping you create that today in Roblox. For example, in Arsenal, we have that too. If you just scroll with your mouse, the next gun appears. It is really cool. It's pretty simple. And all I want to say is if you do in fact like this tutorial, make sure to give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on that notification bell. And also make sure to become a member by the, clicking the blue jump button down below if you want to become a member. No refunds. Uh, you get amazing perks. So yeah, that. So without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. Before I start, I want to give a little shout out, or actually a big one, to Tigerbox for helping me create this. Uh, I had some trouble with it and he just completely helped me. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. So now let's get back to coding. So we need to go to start your GUI and we need to insert a local script. This one. And I'm going to call that client, like usual. Uh, if the quality of my voice is a little bit better, it's because bought I bought a new mic. So, yeah, I hope it's better. So let's get to coding. First of all, we need to give it a little weight because you know you never know when someone's loaded in. Local players, as it goes to game, call on get service players. Local player, as it goes to game, or well players dot local player. Local mouse, as it goes to uh, players actually we can do player player dot mouse or we player call on get mouse sorry it's a little bit confusing even for me local backpack is equals to player dot backpack local num so number is equals to zero we're gonna like make a some kind of loop where if you scroll uh, like a number gets added like uh, you know slot eight it's gonna count up to one two three four five six seven eight and skip all of the tools you know, you get the point? Okay. Now, we need a debounce uh, to give you a little bit. For example, if you don't want anyone to spam it, you can just add a uh, custom debounce. We need a local scroll to determine what uh, slot you're on. And we need a tool table uh, like this with curved brackets. I'm going to zoom in. Curvy brackets uh, to give it a table and to store things in that, such as the tools. Now, when you load in the game, we are going to immediately get all of your tools and just put them in one. So for underscore, comma V in pairs, backpack, colon get children do. The number is going to be plus equals one for every tool that is going to loop through. Yeah. And all we need to do is tool table number. So in the, the number, it's going to be like one equals and then that tool. Uh, I believe it's called a dictionary. No, it's called an index. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, we're going to store the tool name in that. Alrighty. Now, we need a little function. And this function is going to uh, equip your tool. So, local function equip. Like that. Player.character.humanoid. Colon unequip tools. And then those... Uh, normal brackets yep this is a little bit confusing but uh, I will explain what it does so player who oh, player dot character dot humanoid uh, colon equip tools equip tool my bad and then we need to equip something from the backpack and uh, that tool is in the tool table so we're going to call the tool table too and then another uh, square brackets yeah square not curved square and then we need to get the scroll so it's a lot of brackets, so you should have this, backpack, tool table, scroll. So normal bracket, uh, squared, 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 normal, 
just like that okay now all we have to do now is to determine when uh, a player is scrolling or not and let's do that right now so mouse dot wheel forward as you can see you get a little bit of an example uh, of what it does as you can see if you're scrolling forward this is actually really weird backwards is for okay well anyways the thing is uh, this just determines if you're scrolling forward or backward so forward colon connect function just like that if your debounce is equal equals to false because uh, we need a little bit of cooldown so if debounce is equal equals to false then debounce is equal to true because this will block the script from running uh, any other code if it is uh, false so yeah then scroll it's going to be minus equals one because if you scroll forward you're gonna go backward it's pretty weird but that's how Roblox works and probably a normal computer too I have no idea but if scroll is lower than one because you cannot go in minuses so yeah uh, if that's the case then we're just going to force scroll to be equals to one so you're always on number one after that, we need to call the function because now we know what uh, scroll you're on and we can uh, get the function of that. We need a little bit of a wait. This is like 0 0.02 seconds, I believe. It's really small, really short, but uh, it just gives Roblox the time to a little bit render things because Roblox needs its time. So debounce is equals to false uh, so you can scroll again. Now, lastly, mouse. Oh, mouse thought wheel backward and let me check yeah the example oh now it's still backwards anyways wheel thought backwards comma connect function yep we need to make a function out of that and then kind of do the exact same but it's a little bit different so if debounce is equals equals to false then debounce is equals to true so to block any other things from running um, scroll is going to be plus equals one because if you go backwards you're gonna go like to the right and the right means you're gonna go uh, like yeah to the right <laughs> that's pretty obvious um, I don't know the words for it you're just gonna go to the right because in Minecraft if you scroll backwards you're gonna go to the right too and if you scroll upwards you're gonna go to the left okay now local max is equal to player that backpack player there we go the backpack call on get children and then if scroll is the same or higher as max plus one then uh, then scroll is equals to uh, out of everything of in max plus one okay and then we can call the equip again yep task dot wait and debounce is equals to false so what this does, if you're scrolling, for example, to number 9, you cannot scroll to number 0, like 10. Okay, you get that point. A little bit confusing, but that's how it works. We're actually done with the code already, so let's exit the script. But we don't have any tools yet, so let's make a lot of tools. You cannot have tools with duplicate names, so I'm just going to call them tool yeah, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, oh, tool 8, tool 9. And let's click play. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're loaded into the game. And if we scroll, as you can see, I am scrolling right now. And I can go through our entire backpack by just scrolling. You hear that? I am just scrolling. And it works completely. If you're wondering how I am not moving my camera, that is because in starter player, if you exit your game, I set it to 20 just as simple so you can you're your force locked so for example if I would do 10 on 10 uh, I will be a little bit closer up to my character uh, let's see that yep as you can see I'm a little bit yeah I'm way closer but as you can see I can only scroll without my camera moving around as you can see I am now at tool 9 I cannot move forward or like uh, to number 0 because that doesn't exist no errors and we could just freely scroll. So if you do in fact enjoy this tutorial, if you did enjoy it, if did this help you, then make sure to give it a like if you like it. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on that notification bell, and make sure to become a member by clicking the blue join button down below. That's all I had to say, and thank you for watching, and all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say,
Peace out.